Hi guys! Welcome back to another video tutorial. For today's video is a quick and easy Excel tips for real estate investment analysis. It's just pretty quick and simple, so let's go. Now, what we're going to do is we go here on Excel and here I already downloaded one template for property analysis spreadsheet. It is available through online. So, first tip is determine market value. Real estate investors have a wide variety of tools at their disposal to help determine the market value of your house. CMA or Comparative Market Analysis reports what similar homes have recently sold and how much they are currently listed for. Financial metrics such as cap rate and GRM, gross rent multiplier. Calculate the cost of owning the property. The cost of owning and operating a single family investment property includes variety of expense items such as taxes, management and leasing fees, utilities and maintenance and capital repair. Research market trends. Online sources such as Rentometer, Silo, and Rent Cafe are excellent sources for finding real-time rent information in almost every market in the U.S. Another good technique for researching market trend is the secret shop. Other rental properties in the area by pretending to be a tenant. Estimate any need rehab and updating costs. Your property manager can assist with obtaining multiple quotes for any work and also advise whether the local government will require a licensed contractor to do the job or allowed to use for a less expensive handyman. A good rental property analysis spreadsheet also allows real estate inv investors to create other key financial metrics to help weigh the pros and cons of alternative investment option. Cash on cash return equals net annual cash flow. Cap rate NOI. and gross rent multiplier, market value, gross annual rents, and gross rental yield, gross annual rent, market value. So as you can see here, we have the listing offer property after repair value, area, capital expenditure, lending, rent, cost to cost, equity, occupancy, appreciation, equity, and down here is the purchase decision, income, expenses, and the reserves, and the assumptions. So that's it. I hope that you learned something and this video helps. And if you have any questions or comments, can you put it in the comment section below? And make sure to subscribe and like to our channel. Thanks!